five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem in New York, it's the Ramble with me, Alex Bennett, sequestered in my home until midnight tonight, uh, when you can join us uh, right here. Uh, and I better turn on the light there that says we're on the air, otherwise we're not officially on the air. There we go. How's that? Wait a minute, let me do something. Gotta, I want to make the... Make it a little, a little nicer in here. This is up too bright. There we go. Okay, I like it. When I uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? See this over here? I didn't. I always forget to do something. Hold on a second. Uh, gee, I should have a list. Alex, you should do this, and then you should do that. I just push one button and watch. There we go. Okay. See, there are the lights. I knew the lights. Something wasn't right. The lights weren't on. In case you're watching us um, on, uh, on, uh, on, on video, uh, which you can do on YouTube, uh, you, you get the idea that, uh, hey, we're, uh, we're, uh, you know, we're doing this with video. But if you're just listening to the audio, it doesn't matter whether you can see me well or not or whether the lights are on and so on. These lights are bright, however, i got to tell you. Anyway, hello, how are you? What's happening? How's everything in your uh, in in your uh, apartment <laughs> where you're stuck and you can't leave? Otherwise, you'll get arrested and thrown in jail. And uh, but then you're in jail, and uh, I guess uh, you know somebody said who was it that said uh, I heard it uh, I think today in which somebody said uh, this is like uh, home confinement without the ankle bracelet. <laughs> really, it's the same thing. You know, I have not left the house since you saw that thing we did the other day where we went through the neighborhood. So, um, be that as it may. Oh, huh. mm. I got my coffee tonight. I'm ready to go. The only thing is I have a slight stomach ache. I, I have all these little things that have happened to me since I've had this uh, these seeds put in me. Now, let me explain something to you. I saw something tonight very disturbing uh, on Lester Holt's uh, newscast tonight. Uh, uh, more disturbing than Lester Holt himself. Um, and it was a story about several people who are have cancer, all right? And uh, they're, uh, this, they're, they're dying of cancer. One person has colon cancer, Fourth, stage four colon cancer, and there's some kind of new therapy they want to try out on her to save her life, and she has a child, and so on and so forth, and they canceled it. And why did they cancel it? Because they have no room at the inn, because they need the hospital for the coronavirus. So they're trading her life for the coronavirus. And then there was someone else who said they had to have some kind of surgery and, and they had to call it off because of this. And I started to think about it and I went, boy, did I miss the bullet on that one. Because as you know, what, two weeks ago, a little more than two weeks ago, about two weeks and two days ago, I had these seed implants put in my prostate for prostate cancer. And that's supposed to cure my prostate cancer and probably, chances are it will. But if I had, and by the way, you remember things went really bad and my doctor couldn't get the equipment he needed, and so he had to cancel the operation and he put it off for a week. Uh, uh, if, 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 if they had just put it off another week or something, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to get it. I, they'd say, well, I'm sorry, you're going to have to live with your cancer. You've had your, you've had your radiation. Maybe that helped a little bit. But uh, we can't do the seeds, which will kill it completely. And so I really dodged the bullet on that one. Um, uh, because here I am, I'm, I've had the operation and I'm fine. The only thing is I'm supposed to, after four weeks, go in for a CT scan so they can check the seeds 
and check the radio uh, radiation levels and so on to make sure not that it's working, but that they're not overworking or whatever. Uh, but it, as I said, it's not a diagnostic thing. It is simply uh, something for their records so they can say, hey, yes, things are working right. This is there here and these are there and so on. So it's not what you would call uh, the term they use is essential. Um, so uh, I don't know if they'll do that for me. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm not going to get a call next week saying, oh, by the way, we're not going to be doing that for a couple of months, okay? But you can live without it. I know it's something that I can live without, okay? Um, that that, that uh, I can wait for it to, to happen later on down the line. But it, it really, my God, you know, I thought about it as I watched this thing and I went, if I had just been like one week off, or maybe two, especially two weeks off, it'd been like last Tuesday, they would have canceled the uh, the the procedure, and I wouldn't have gotten the seeds, and the prostate cancer might have advanced. So, I I really I, I'm thankful. I I'm I'm counting counting my damn blessings. Isn't that strange and weird? Okay. Hmm. I love this coffee. I found this uh, this coffee. I, I got this thing called uh, uh, "Wake the Hell Up" coffee, and I I got it and I and I love the taste of it. And then I looked at the package and it said, it, it, I, I, because I got another bag of it, uh, but it didn't taste the same. And then I looked at the two bags and one of them said that the coffee in the bag was Jamaican me crazy. That's the name of it, Jamaican Me Crazy. And it's got um, coconut and it's got spices. And I love the taste of it. That's all I drink. And this is the, uh, this is the uh, what's his name? The um, Wolfgang Puck has, has his K-Cups. And he makes just the, not the double dose wake me the hell up coffee, but just a regular dose. And that's what I drink at night. Okay? So there we are. Mm. Hmm. Anyway, so, you know, I mean, you have things like that, and I feel so sorry for people who are like, you know, they're supposed to go in for their major cancer operation to, to take care of their, and they can't, they, the hospitals can't take them, you know, and it's um, not going to get any better. Um, in San Francisco, as you know, as in all California, Gavin Newsom out there uh, declared it, uh, you know, uh, basically that you have to stay in your house. You can't go outside. Uh, and here, about a week ago, they said that 50% uh, of all businesses, uh, businesses had to lower the amount of people at their jobs by 50%. And then the other day he said 75%. And today he said, and I'm quoting him, 100%. Everybody, send everybody home. You know, we can't, We've got to stop this thing. You know, we've got to make sure it doesn't spread. And um, we don't have, the, the problem is, and he explains it so well. I mean, I really would like, I should just get a, uh, um, um, a YouTuber thing of his speech and play it for you because he explains it so amazingly about how, you know, um, the curve goes up like this, and the amount of things we have in the hospitals is like this, and it goes and exceeds that, and you know, and how many beds we're going to need, and why we're not going to be able to take care of everybody. So if we try to prevent people from getting it, if we try to prevent ourselves from being um, in the middle of this whole thing, then um, we can maybe, you know, maybe we can do something about it. Um, all those cures that uh, the president was talking about are just, you know, pie in the sky. Uh, there's one which is a, like a malaria drug, and if you take it with a uh, uh, with a antibiotic, supposedly it will knock it out 70% of the time, okay? Now, where do we get that information from? The Chinese came up with that one, okay? So if you don't trust the Chinese in the first place, you can't trust that in the second place. 
But uh, the, the president gets up and he goes, he says, oh, you know, we've, we've got these things on the horizon. The FDA is looking at them and so on. And then Anthony Fauci gets up and says, ah, it's all anecdotal, you know, uh, because our president um, has done a, done a lousy job, okay, of, of calming the, uh, the, the, the seas, as it were, and the way in which people are reacting to this whole thing. And... Uh, uh, it, oh, it's just too much. It's too much to even think about that brainless president of ours. Today he gets on the air. Here, here's what happened. Today I wake up, I always look and see what the stocks are doing because I want to see how much money I've lost today. I think I've lost about maybe, I haven't even looked. I'm not looking. I won't look until maybe next December to see how much money I have or don't have because uh, I, I don't want to, Go jumping out of a window here. But I maybe I could have lost upwards to a third of my money. Okay? All right? That's that, that, pretty good to think about? Yeah. And um, uh, so I check the stocks every day just to see how they're doing. And usually it's bad news. Usually they're down. But this morning I woke up and uh, I... Uh, I, I, I looked at them, and um, the stocks were up. They were up around 300, okay? So um, the next thing I do is I watch about 11 o'clock every morning. Uh, our governor here uh, um, uh, gives a speech, and I watch that, okay? Uh, Andrew Cuomo gives a speech, and I watch that. And that at least does make me feel better, but it makes me feel as though there is somebody running this state who is doing the best job he possibly can under incredible circumstances. And then the president runs his at 11.30. Now, mind you, the stock was at maybe 350 on the positive side uh, before his speech started. By the time his presentation was over, it was down 300 and eventually finished almost minus 1,000 today. I think the lowest it's ever been. What our, can I just say this to, to our president? It's not because I don't like him, which I don't, but it's because it happens to be true. For the sake of my pocketbook and the pocketbook of Americans everywhere, will you shut the hell up, okay? Uh, just shut up, okay? Don't even say a word. Let other people do the talking and whatever. I mean, uh, today, a guy from NBC said to him, well, don't you feel that by what you did yesterday with all these uh, different cures and so on, was giving people false hope? Uh, Trump then laid into him and said, no, I don't think it was false hope. It's my opinion that these things have to be looked at and blah, 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 blah. And then he finishes off the whole thing by just going after this guy and saying, uh, you're very rude of asking me a question like that. Now, this is a guy from the press who's simply trying to get an answer. And he went after him and said, that's rude. That's, you shouldn't be asking that kind of question. You, you, you're phony press. You, you and your, all your people over there at NBC owned by Khan the cast. And he... In the middle of this, this is supposed to be, uh, you know, here's what's happening. Here's what we're trying to do. You know, then the press, do you have some questions? I mean, if, if Trump doesn't want people to go after him at these press conferences, then he shouldn't ask the press to take, he shouldn't take questions from the press. Anyway, the, it, the same reporter, later on, uh, Pence is up there. And he asked Pence exactly the same question. And Pence gave him a good answer, a very civil, decent reply, you know. Um, I'm not a big fan of, of Pence, but he certainly knows politically how to handle himself instead of this goofball we've got as a president. Where every time he opens his mouth, the stock goes down 100, 1,000 points, you know. And I, I just think it's time we, you know, uh, that, that he just shut up and mind his own business and let other people run the country. Man, I wish Cuomo were president right now. Um, he, 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 you know, he, one of the things he said, and it was very important what he said, was he said, uh, 
you know, in the end, I'm the guy who's responsible. And uh, it was one of those buck stops here moments in which he said, you know, the buck stops here, basically. And uh, it, it's, it's my, if, if it goes wrong, it's my fault. And if it goes right, well, thank you very much. But, you know, I'm going to make these decisions and let's just hope that I'm right. You know, and he's willing to admit that he, you know, if he's if he, if he if he doesn't get it done, he doesn't get it done. But anyway, I've just opened up the uh, citizen panel for. Now, uh, let me put on the green light here. Roxanne, turn on your red light now. Turn on the green light there. Okay, now I'm green. Okay, for everybody who might want to call the program and so on, and we'll start taking calls. And uh, oh, wow. 40 people are watching right now. Hmm. Last night, we got all the way up somewhere around 50 at a time, and that was pretty good. Hmm. Anyway, I dodged the bullet. That's the good point. So, you know, what have you. Uh, let me see. That's uh, Josh Wheeler, and there's Charles Wallace. Let me see here. I think Charlie was on last night, and here here comes somebody else. Where, where Who are we? Todd Moore. Uh, let me see here. Who do we have? We got Charlie. We got Todd Moore. Let me put him in the uh, number one spot. Uh, Todd uh, Moore. There we go. And also Josh Wheeler. Hello, Josh. Let me oh, let me get, take care of him. Get him a little spot here. There we go. Uh, I may have to ask you people at some point during this hour to talk amongst yourselves because today I've had a what I call a bad P day. So, uh, you know, who knows what, this, what the story is going to be. Scott Boddicker is calling. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, Emery Renati is calling. Let me just get these people uh, all uh, on here and then we can, oh. uh, you know. Uh, let me see here. First of all, here comes... Uh, let me see here. Who do we have? Uh, Goomba, uh, there's Ray. And uh, then I go here, and we had, uh, there was one other person. That, oh, yeah, Scott Boddicker. Hello, Scott. How are you? Good to see Scott. We don't see Scott that often. Uh, let me see here. Uh, and I think that, okay, and Todd, you've got your hand up. What do you want, uh, Todd? Well, I wanted to let you know, man, um... Uh, I'm sorry that I missed you the last couple of days. Um, yeah. I uh, I usually am sleeping before you know I can really get on, like talking about. What the hell is that noise? I don't know. Um, what is that noise? I got I got a lot of friends watching now. A lot of friends. Wait, uh, wait a minute, Ray. Um, Ray, you're making a lot of noise there. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go go my on. My microphone was my microphone's off. Was off. Well, I don't know, but it, it was. It, it seemed to be where the noise was coming from. Right. Anyway, hold on a sec. God, I got to wait. A minute. I got to. I got to. Got to get. Uh, uh, let me see here. Who do I? Who do I not have here? Oh, Charlene. Okay, she's that one with that long thing. And then we got to go over here to Jason. There we go. We're already up to uh, and also. Wow. Uh, also, um, uh, let me see here. I think uh, we got uh, we got Scott, and then we've got to go over here to uh, our uh, eight. Uh, where is it? Our hold on a second. Our eight pack is it? Yeah. Hold on a second. I have to go to seven. I've got to get these people on here because they're calling me faster than I can put them on. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's that. And then we got to go to, uh, ba, 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 ba. and then we got to go and put in Rob. Let's see, Alfano, Alfano. Al uh, there, here comes Rob. Here he comes. Now let me see wow. here. Uh, Rob Alfano. Uh, I may have to, uh, I'm going to have to cancel and then go back in here and double click and get uh, Rob Alfano. There goes Rob Alfano. Uh, folks, this is how boom. the sausage is made. Oh, this is how the sausage is made. Look at that, <laughs> folks, already. Jeez, you're exhausting one me. One more. We got a full house. Huh? No, we don't have a full house yet. We're is almost one more. Yeah. One more, and it'll be a full house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, 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 and Phil hasn't called, so maybe, uh, you know. 
Um, Let's lock him out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's lock him out. Yeah, right. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. <laughs> lock him out. Yeah, lock lock him out. Up. Yeah. Is he on quarantine or you know lockdown? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where he would be. Yeah, oh, he's got to be. He's yeah. got to be. You know, locked out. So, who knows? You know. Phil lives. Phil lives near me, uh, and we're allowed to go outside. Um, and walk a dog and stuff like that. But we're not supposed to uh, go anywhere but the grocery store or to the doctor. Well, here comes Bree. How are the streets looking? Are they looking like people are following the order? Or... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. there's just very few cars. It looks like mostly people like delivery and stuff. A few people uh, yep. walking their dogs, and that's about it. Okay, here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to find, uh, let's see here. First, I got to put Phil in here. Where where is it, uh, Phil Scuba Diver? And uh, wait a minute, I said okay, Phil. Phil, what's your problem, Phil? Well, let me see here, and then I gotta find. Uh, uh, let me see here, gotta find. Um, who hell? Somebody else called. Oh, Bree, Bree, I gotta yeah. put Bree in here. Hold on a second. Where where is Bree? Oh. Said we wanted the full house. Huh? Well, this is more than a full house. Yeah, we got a royal flush now. Uh, yeah, it's a royal yeah. flush. Uh, and for some reason, um, is Phil there? Are you Phil there, Phil? Oh. Frozen? No, Phil Hello? isn't. Yeah, Phil isn't is he there. Frozen? Huh? Frozen. Too many. Uh, uh, well, well, Phil yeah, isn't it's there. Probably uh, his internet connection. The it, internet's getting clogged up from everybody working from home. Yeah, yeah that, well, that's right. happening too. You know that in Europe, uh, Netflix has lowered their speed, so that I guess if you have 4K, you're not going to be able to get 4K. You know, so. And they should uh, pay back back money if they're going to do that. What'd you say? What'd you say? I had no problem watching Netflix today. Well, no, you didn't yeah, have any problem, but I'm saying that they would have had a, a you know, they're having a problem in Europe. And uh, they're slowing it down. Here comes Sibby Itty. I'll tell you, I can't, Sibby, I can't put you on. If I put one more person on, it becomes, uh, well, we'll give you a try, Sibby. And if I, if I, if I, if I, if I can't do it, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sibby, if I, uh, are you there, Sibby? Yes, yes. Okay, I may have to hang up on you if this is not working well. But okay, that's fine. That's fine. Be on Skype. I'll just watch. Slap back. What? I just watch on uh, YouTube. That's fine. Yeah, but wait a minute. Hold on. You can stay there for the time being. It's just a matter of if we can take it. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me okay. let me just get. Oh, there's Kevin. Oh boy. Uh, Bree has his hand up. Uh, 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 it's just uh, beyond the royal flush. Huh? It's just beyond the royal flush. Oh, yeah, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. For, this is this all. Is this is all. This is all going to crash down behind. Uh, 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 behind me. Let me see here. Hold on, everybody. Just uh, keep quiet a second. Uh, a Bree, we have. Uh, we need. Uh, we need. Uh, who do we need? Okay, here. What we're going is we're going to our eleven spot here, which would be. Uh, let me see here. Because I got so many names here now, I can't uh, I can't see them all. Who am I looking for? Who, oh, we got Bree, we got Todd, we got uh, uh, Sibby Charlene. And Kevin will ask too. Sibby, are you, you're there, Sibby? Right? Sibby? He was muted. Oh. Um, yes, I'm here. Uh, yeah, he's there. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Sibby, is a, are you there? No, but we don't have a picture on you, Sibby. I'm looking at Sibby. I'm, um, hmm. I can see myself. Uh, I see him. I I'm on. Uh, well, I don't know. I give up. Not I, like my man, uh, Sibby. Skype. What, wait a minute. S I can see all of Hold on a second. Bree, what, Bree? Uh, Alex, are you familiar with a program called Zoom? Z no, don't even talk to me about that. It sucks. <laughs> Uh, really? Yes, because it does. It, it sucks. Conduct... It sucks because I've got to then get teach everybody how to use Zoom, and it's. Well, and I think it, what he was it, going it, to say is it's free right now. Huh? I think what he was going to say that it's free right yeah, now. Yeah, it's free right now, but uh, it's not. Uh, you know, let me see here. I'm switched over to Zoom for all my classes and all my meetings because 
with Skype and Teams, yeah. when you go above 10 people, mm -hmm. the audio gets All right. Horrific. All right. But well, we're doing just fine now. I'm just trying to find out, do I have, do I have, uh, do I have, um, oh, I see. I don't have uh, Kevin in there. That's what, who I don't have, which is Hog Rider. Uh, Hog Rider. Where's Hog Rider? Come okay. on. You got 46 on the chat. Yeah, I know. Okay, Phil, don't confuse me while I'm trying to do something here. Okay, here's Hog Rider. All right. Uh, and and Sibby, I can't. I, uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm trying to. Oh, boy. That uh, 11. And the, uh, Hog Rider. Are you there, Kevin? Yeah, I'm here. You're there, but I'm not able to get your picture up. All I'm getting yeah. is your picture on. It's on uh, Skype, but not on YouTube. But that's fine. Well, no, but I'm. He's I'm, got the I don't nine care. screen on YouTube. What? I only see nine people on YouTube. I know, but okay. Let me show you what I got here. Here's the thing. Okay, there we go. And here, look at that. I got that, and I can't even get Sibby in here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, 12, uh, Sibby, uh, Sibby Sibs, okay, all right, uh, let me see here, is this going to, no, I'm going to have to get rid of uh, a couple of people here, anybody want to voluntarily leave? I'll go. Uh, no, I'll, you stay. I'll leave. I'll, I'll bail leave. if you want. What? Yeah, yeah, Sibby, let's, huh? Let, no, let's let's get rid of Sibby. Thank yep, you, Sibby. I, I, I appreciate I appreciate the call, Sibby. But I, we... I had an idea that uh, I will only stay on for a half an hour. So Sibby, come back for a half hour. I think if we take shifts, so to speak, yeah. maybe okay. a half hour to an hour. So Sibby, please keep listening, yeah. watching, and come back in. I'll I'll go out for you. But yeah. Uh, uh, let's take turns. Uh, well, uh, okay. I can uh, go off. So I'll, like, so I'm in the dark anyway. I'm yeah, okay. I'll tell you. Minutes. Stay where you are a second. Yeah, I'd, get, I'd go if I were you because you're just so dark we can't even see you anyway. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay, and Bye. you're number four. So that's gone. So I can maybe put Kevin in there, maybe. maybe. You need me to go? Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is taxing the system, however, but um, let me see here. Where are we? I'm trying to see Hog Rider. Where's Hog Rider? There he is. Uh, let's see here. God, I'm looking at Bill. Is, is this coming up? There's there there's Hog Rider. And, oh, and he's down below, too, but maybe I can put Sibby down there now. Let me see. On 12, <laughs> on 11. Wow, this is, this is clustery. Clustery funkery. Yeah, let me see here. Uh, no, that's Scott Bonnaker. Let me <laughs> see here. Sibby Itty. Sibby, are you there? I think no, he, he left. Failed. Oh, he left. Yeah. Oh, okay. He signed off of the chat. Okay, well, then uh, let me see here. There's there's somebody that I, I guess I have. Uh, oh, boy. This is, this is something else. Okay. Let me see here. We're we're gonna do that. Okay, so we got ten. So we got oh we got a full house. What is that? A full house or is that a royal flush? It's a royal flush. Okay, okay. Let me see here. No, that's not what I want. I said royal flush, you idiot. Let me see here. Hmm. 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 Okay. Here we go. There we go. The Royal Flush. Okay. Oh, well, thank you and good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. This is quite I a... I think the ramble caught the virus. No, no. We, we just got uh, too, uh, too many people at one time. It, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, plus, we got about 46 people watching us right now, so... You know. Hey, now tell you, Alex, you were talking about uh, losing money in this whole thing before. I've lost forty grand. <laughs> Have you oh. lost forty grand? Oh. Yeah. Really? I don't even want to yeah. look. I don't want to look. I you keep know. on looking because I, I, you know, it will come back. But well, it's, it, it, you know, it, will it come back in my lifetime? Is the question. <laughs> you know, that's my question. In my lifetime, I, I will I see it back? So, 
they just get smart and suck it all up right now and just put everybody on quarantine for two months and I don't think it's going to be two months. I think it's going to be a lot longer than that. I'm afraid you're right. I agree. You know, uh, it sucks though. Yeah. I'm essential, so I have to go to work. Yes, uh, y- y- yes, yes, Todd. Oh, well, just give me a heads up. It's going to be a lot longer than a few months in quarantine. I, I guarantee you, it's going to be year. about a year. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to tell you that, and I'm well, sorry, I hope Alex. It's only a year. Oh. Uh, I'm hoping that it'd be less than that, but that's what it's looking at. Um, I'm on the front lines, driving trucks. Um, it's it's not looking good out here. It's not looking good at all. And I brought a lot of people to your um, to your show. Mm-hmm. Uh, from my, uh, I play like a little game on the phone. Mm-hmm. So I had all my friends come over. So I'm sorry if I filled it up so they can. Uh, to see what's going on because they're all around the uh, the world. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what I'm filling them up with. Yeah. If they're all on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm telling you, it's um, uh, I am, um, I I t- I mentioned this earlier and I'll mention it again. I mean, I really dodged a bullet by having my operation two weeks ago. Yeah. Because if I were to have had this operation last, let's say last Tuesday, for example, they, they wouldn't have operated on me. I'm sure of it. They're turning people away with terminal cancer right now. Uh-huh. You know. uh, so, I mean, I, I am so lucky. I, I, you know, I'm never, I've never said that I'm fa- happy for something I'm, I'm not that kind of upbeat person. They say, "Thank God for that," you know. Huh. Thank God for that. <laughs> you know, I mean, because if if I had not had uh, if I not had it when I had it, uh, even by one week, I might have had a problem getting it. And uh, so, uh, the, you know, I may not be able to get the uh, the CT scan, but that isn't it, that's only. Uh, what can we call it? Informative for the doctor. That's not you know, something. And I may have to have a blood draw, but uh, I can live without those things, you know. So anyway, how you doing, Josh? You you are you hunkered down? No, we're still working. Yeah, we only have about half our people, so working twice as hard. Yeah, yeah. I mean. My company just refuses to follow the order of the governors in the states that have closed right. places. They won't do it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're just, they won't do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I got information last night about Pennsylvania and a few other places, and I really thought it was going to shut us down because we ship a lot of our product to the distribution centers there, and then I come in this morning, they're like, oh, no, no. His, his the governor's order said paint manufacturing. He didn't say we couldn't ship it and receive it. And I'm like, oh, give me a fucking break, whatever. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Now they do the same thing in Nevada. Mm-hmm. We got another distribution center out there. They probably won't close. And I was told all the people in California were gonna keep, still keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what what happened? Wait, yeah, wait, so wait. when they end up on the fucking news for acting like assholes, they'll get everything they got coming to them. Keep the language. We might be able to monetize this. Oh, forget it. I've given <laughs> up on trying to monetize this. Every night, again, it's like they don't monetize, and then I put in a protest, and yeah, then they I'll monetize one, else. but they don't monetize the other. And then if I made some money on a particular night, they take it back from me. Well, you know. to make a Mac. Why do now, they take it back from you? They take it back. Oh, uh, uh, at one point I would got it to ten dollars and ten cents, and now I'm back down to nine fifty six or something. What? Yeah. You're doing better than I'm doing in the stock you market. The, you <laughs> got to withdraw it right away. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, let's see. Two people have their hands up. Jason. One of which is uh, Jason, and then uh, Charlene will be after him. Jason. I have wanted to ask Todd how he felt about them. Uh, getting rid of the law about the hours that you can drive they never got rid of it yet um i'm still driving the same hours and um i'd rather lose all the hours so i can hurry up and get everybody's product that they need to where it is and as uh, as far as pennsylvania 
uh, they uh, shut down all of the rest areas. So we got no place to park. But how do you feel oh, about people's geez. safety if they get rid of the restriction of the hours that you can drive? Well, before we didn't have those really. Uh, it's since you know, 1938. Well, I mean, okay, well, um, I don't know. All I know is a lot of drivers have problems driving to excessive or whatever. I used to drive with just logbooks and cheated on the logbooks. I would leave from um, Arkansas, and I would go all the way to Virginia straight. And I lied on a logbook, and I made it there to get to my dad and my family in a, a day's time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some drivers can do it. Some drivers should never do it. Get your rest, and then you do it if you need to do it, if it's an emergency. If it's not an emergency and you don't need to do it, don't do it. Yeah. Even, don't, in don't do it. Even in an automobile, I couldn't drive straight through 24 hours. Right. You know, I'd, I'd have to break every maybe 10, 8, 10 hours and sleep. Do you feel, do you feel, do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you feel, Todd, that you're safer in a truck than you are if you were... Hell yeah. Out there in a lot of other places. What do you mean? In the eighteen wheeler then? Yeah, yeah, I mean do you feel um, do you feel you're safer there from this this plague, you know? No. No. Because I can explain why. Because I gotta stop and I gotta pick up and I have to go to a truck stop to get my fuel. Mm -hmm. I have to go inside. Then I have to go inside to deal with uh the customers to to deal with them and they don't even care because I'm like, you know, I'm sitting next to another truck driver and I'm trying to stay six feet from them and we're in a little uh, cubicle, yeah. you know, and I don't, I don't dig that. I'm standing up and I got the other guy sitting down. And then when he comes up to get his paperwork, I'm trying to slide around him. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not happy about any of it because they don't care. They'd rather get my keys for my truck while I'm backed up in the door then worry about me sitting in my truck with the truck off, you know, but they don't want me to do that. They want me sitting in their office. I don't like none of it. Yeah. Uh, Phil, you got your hand up. Yeah. You know, this is also tough on these truck stop hookers. What are they going to do? For <laughs> you know, I'm going to slap you when I see you. Phil. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that because the only hooker and the only truck stop hooker that I see right now, I'm talking to Philip, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Now, now I see why you are Trump supporter. Phil. What do they yeah. call? Uh, what, what, what do they call them? They have a term for them. Lot something or another. Lot lizards. Lot lizards. Yeah. yeah. AKA Philip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you only wish. <laughs> no, but yeah. you. Kind of got that big mic in front of your face for a reason. <laughs> hey, listen, since we have so many people, uh, listen, since we have so many people on tonight, let's really enforce the raise your hand rule. And I'll also try and get around all of you. Charlene? Charlene? Yeah, I heard. Uh, did you guys hear the National Guard is coming this way, like up to the East Coast? The National Guard is here, has been here all the time. Every state enacted the National Guard, I thought. Every, every state has had has the National Guard. And when they call just, up the National just, Guard, it's your, it it's your like National Guard. It's not some National Guard that comes marching in from Florida or something. I heard a rumor I they're going to... I heard a rumor they're going to do a self-quarantine for two weeks starting this weekend. And I thought it was supposed to be just Michigan, but our governor saying she isn't planning anything, so it might be a national. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Bree. Um, I'd just like to go around the, the horn here. How many of you, like me, are prohibited for two weeks from going outside by an army and police officers? Raise your hand. Nope. It's coming. I, I believe it's coming. Well, um, that's probably what you're hearing. It's, what they, it's what they didn't. If you look at the videos coming out of Italy and out of yeah. Britain. You will be scared straight. But we're Americans. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, but if either everybody does it or we don't, and this keeps going. It's true. So we, we are into day four of our two week, and now they're thinking it'll probably be extended at least an extra week because the first two or three days, people didn't believe it, and they were going out, and they were like, uh-huh, life is good, I'm fine, I don't have it. 
And then they they called up the army and said, uh, no, this is serious and we we mean it. And you're going to get fined twenty thousand ringgit jail of two years if you disobey this order. Now, how do you how how are you supposed to get food and um, uh, f pharmaceuticals and things like that? Well, delivery it works great here, and the delivery drivers are still allowed to go as long as they have their logos and their, their drivers. And you can walk to a local pharmacy or a local grocery store between uh, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m., uh, but they're restricting. Uh, and the morning hours are only for elderly, mm -hmm. and then the afternoon and uh, you know, slightly into the early evening are, are for everybody, but they restrict the numbers that go in. So you, uh, you're in you can city. only walk. You can only walk. If you have to drive, forget it. There's in no Malaysia, like by the way, you've had uh, 1,000 um, um, uh, cases so far. And uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm trying to find out. Where is that? Where is that? Uh, where is that? You st you're still going by those numbers, huh? Well, well, th well this, yeah, is, this, yeah. is all, this is all we really have. You know, there are three deaths in Malaysia so far. So you uh, live in a city, I live in the country, and I can't imagine that happening here because it's wide open spaces. I have, I don't have a big piece of property by any means, right? but, um, and there's the entire state right now only has like 120 yeah. cases or whatever. Okay. So yeah, I could so see in a 240 city tomorrow. Kevin? I get, well, wait a minute, Kevin? Yeah, they, they, they're, they've closed on the highways. Yeah. So. Kevin has his hand up. Yeah, so I saw an uh, interview this, this morning of a family that's an American family in Italy that are hunkered down. And they said that they can go out only to go down to the store and get groceries, and then they got to go back. And they have to carry papers. And they're getting checked on the street as they go down towards the store. They'll get checked once or twice before they get to the store. They're within a certain length of uh you know kilometers from their store and they got to go get the store and then they're on their way back they check they bought their shit they go back they go back to their house and they're they're in so and, they're, and their papers are checked so they got to take their their passport and their their uh identification papers for their mm -hmm. address and all that stuff so they stay within a certain part okay. and they got to go back Jason, so I don't know if they'll get to that, but okay. Jason and then well, Todd. Actually, yes, we probably will because I just yesterday got my papers because I'm considered an essential worker. So even if there is a self quarantine nationwide, I'm still expected to go to work. And my company has also told us that we're still going to go inside people's houses and do installs. Wow. So what the hell is the point of that? If there's a self quarantine, you're going to send people into people's freaking houses to do installs, where I might be going to four or five people's houses every day. I so, but you, I'm, you also have... I'm young and healthy, so I might have it and be what they call the super spreader. Oh, but if you, you also have the right to not go in the house too. And my yeah. wife did the same thing. She has she sells air uh, parts for air ambulances and she brought home paperwork so she can pass through the roads and stuff in case she gets pulled over. Todd had his hand up. Todd? All right. Well, yeah, um, I heard the same thing going on in Germany and I know for a fact that they're starting to do the same, getting ready to do the same in New York. Mm -hmm. They're starting to do it in a bunch of other states too that I've been driving through. Uh, all the schools we already know that are pretty much, you know, closed down. Mm -hmm. But what they're doing is they're lying about how long the schools are going to be done for. Right. I already know, year. and I already, I already told everybody pretty much that I know in the United States they're dealing with the school systems that they got a whole year. They were told yeah. a couple of months. They got a whole year because they're not going to find mm -hmm. a, um, a a serum for this or any type of thing for this. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's it, it's horrible. Okay. Everybody is uh, messing up the stores, mm -hmm. but except a couple of states, a couple of states that I've been through, you wouldn't even notice that anything is wrong. Like Florida, where everybody's over there just chilling in the water, there's like a thousand people, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean. You got the old people, the young people, and the yeah. people okay. from college. Phil, They're Phil, Phil. A good time, ain't they? Phil had his hand up. Yes, Phil. Yeah, Jason, the, the reason you're an essential 
a, a person or, uh, you know, and, and allowed to go into people's houses is because you're providing Internet for them. And they need, yeah. you know, in this in this situation, people need the Internet. That's the only thing the, that's going to connect. They don't need to switch from one company to another right now. <laughs> that's not. a very. They don't a, need to upgrade their speed. Right right now. Now. Yeah. Or you, no, uh, he, he's absolutely right, Phil. I mean, yeah, I, I get the point you're trying to make. If these you know, were fresh you, installs, but he's talking about their upgrades, their people are changing services, you know, things like mm -hmm. that. And you, you don't need to have it for, you know, if you know there's a quarantine going on for a month, you don't need to have your internet. I'm sorry, find something else to do. If you if you were that unlucky person, yeah. this is humanity we're talking Listen, about. Listen, Larry Bubbles Brown is living in a studio apartment with no yeah. internet, okay? So, you know, imagine that. Yes, uh, Bree. Just a uh, word of advice. I, I don't, you know, mean to panic everybody, but if I were you, I'd go to the grocery store today. Make sure your freezers are stocked, and your and your refrigerators are stocked, and also that you have enough water. We bought a ton of water, and sure enough, our water supply has gone on the fritz. We don't have water today through the mains. So wow, and we we hope it'll come back. We do have internet. We have well, electricity. I, 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 I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm advising, I'm advising, I'm advising people against hoarding only because, yeah, yeah. Uh, because Don't that, hoard. that could cause Make a bigger, sure you have enough to last two or three weeks of food. Well, and here's right, what right, happens. Every, you know, if I run out, if I run out of, what am I, if I run out of food, okay, <laughs> I will order out. Okay. We, we already found our favorite restaurant. We'll, we'll, uh, deliver or we can go over and pick it up. Uh, so there are, you know, and I can order from like, uh, Amazon or Whole Foods and so on. Uh, Charlene. Yes. Char Charlene. Yes. You had, you had your hand up. Or was well, she frozen? I'm trying not to interrupt and upset anyone. Um, I heard, uh, I think it was Sanjay Gupta and, uh, he said that we can expect this again next year. And I'm like, can we get through this year before he's talking about next year? Yeah, shut the hell up. I'm like, yeah. my God, we don't know what to expect. And he's saying, I mean, would it be this again next year if we all survived this year? I couldn't believe they said that today on CNN. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir, Phil. Yeah. Uh, today I had to pick up some meds for my dog. And the uh, place that I picked it up was a couple doors away from Costco. So I said, oh, I'll, I'll go to Costco. So I, I get the cart, I wipe it down, I go into Costco, I start looking around, I didn't have a plan, but as I walked in about three quarters of the way, there was this woman standing there coughing, uh, you know, into her hands, but her hands were open and she just kept coughing and coughing. That's right, blame a woman, Phil. Yeah, I said, really? don't be so sensitive, Sean. And I said, really? I'm not, you know, I'm joking. You know, you know, if, if, what don't you, you guys do? remember my story from Singapore? And then uh, let me. And then I I went to get a Costco employee, and I found a woman, and I said, "Hey, over by the the wall uh, display, there's this woman. She's standing there coughing her, her brains out. She needs some help, or she needs to leave." And uh, so she says, "Well, you should tell a manager." I said, "I'm telling you, you tell the manager." And I got the heck out of there. You know, <laughs> I didn't buy anything. I, I, just, I haven't I just, been to Costco yet because I consider it one giant petri dish. You know, uh, it was <laughs> what, what public place isn't? Yeah, well, it, it I, was uh, uh, some. I, I, I did would go the other day, and it was really good. They had all their carts. They, I brought a cart in from the parking lot, and they told don't me show no. us videos and stuff like that, uh, uh, Bree, because it kind of they uh, gave me a cart that was already me. sanitized. Yeah, it throws us it, off. It's comical. Yeah, well, uh, d don't do it because it just kind of it, it kind of throws us all off a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to see in a circle. It, yeah, it's exactly what happened to a person who sneezed. Yeah, but I mean, it it it's it's. You know, so I won't. Well, I won't go over there. You see, I'm I'm very careful about me because of my age and because I just had an operation. You know, I mean, uh, I'm probably uh, uh, Kevin probably feels the same way about himself. You know, with some of his uh, physical issues, and hey, and I'm surprised you're still alive. I'm surprised I'm still alive too. So I'm very wary of even going out. And I have I've I have the uh, M9 mask or whatever that mask is you suppose the really good N95. one. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. oh. Yes, uh, uh, Bree, and then Charlene. I read a story about NBC News lost one 
their yeah, sound man or they something. did. They lost the sound yeah. Larry Ledgeworth, but they never, in the whole report, they don't report his age. So, uh, he, no, he, uh, they I'm said he was, he was like, um, he was is 63 or 62, 61. something. 61. Yeah. Wow. He looked healthy to me. I mean, he looks like a robot. Yeah, but he did have, he did have, phys he did have health issues. He had respiratory uh, issues. He had respiratory uh, okay. issues. Somebody just wrote that Mal Sharp passed away. Yeah, I was going to yeah. mention that. My good friend Mal Sharp, who used to work with me, uh, we used to do yeah. stuff together on my show and in San Francisco when I was at uh, KMEL. Uh, Man in the street. Yeah, we did this one. We, uh, really, my favorite uh, um, prank that we pulled was convincing people on the street that uh, tonight, that night, they were going to do something they only do once every 10 years in the Bay Area, and that's drain the bay so they can clean it. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and, and we, and P, did you remember? People were believing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What time is that going to be? I want to see what that looks like. You know, <laughs> the bay was so shitty anyway. About the, <laughs> and there was this show. It was one up. of these shows they ran on like Nat Geo or whatever, where they drained the bay so you could see what it would look like and to see how somebody could escape <laughs> in the bay and, model. In the bay model, and they drained the bay. And I'm thinking, oh, I hope Mal is watching this. You know, um, but Mal yeah, Sharp was, died. He was eighty. He's eighty three. Huh? He was really tall. Was he about six eight? Yeah, he was quite tall. Yeah, uh, certainly t he towered over me. Yeah, I liked him. He was a good guy. Yeah, um, most people don't remember, unless you're from the Bay Area, do not really remember Mal Sharp. But I read his obituary in the New York Times, big obituary in the New York Times for him. So apparently he had an effect on somebody. Um, hmm. But um, you know, I mean, it, 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 this is going to be this is really weird. Some some woman said it tonight, and I've been saying it ever since, and that is. This is like one big science fiction movie. First, yep. uh, Charlene, she had her hand up first, and then Rob. Yes, Charlene. You know, what's that M. Night Shyamalan film where there's like this whisper, like it's like a whisper. I couldn't tell movie. you his movies suck so the badly, happening. I won't go see them. The so. Happening, is that it? Yeah. And, and, and I, I want to think of that Mel Gibson thing with uh, Joaquin Phoenix signs with the cornfield. Signs, I don't know, yeah. every horror film in the world. Yeah, every bad I mean, horror film ever made was made by M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. Right. I know, he sucks, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Rob. What do you think of the idea that um, everybody in government, everybody in charge, sports teams, presidents of network sports team you know, not, uh leagues and such already know we're not going to see anything for a year but they keep telling everybody the schools are close till april then they'll change it and they'll make it june Why april there's first? not going to be a baseball yeah. season there's not going to be a football season there's not going to be any more basketball or hockey and the schools are going to be closed for a year but they can't tell you that because if they do people will go crazy panic yes yes Bree. That's what we're dealing with here, Rob. We, we've gone through. I'm I'm middle management, so I don't make you know uh, the upper management uh, decisions. But they they're constantly holding back information, and you know, you know, I want to give the information. And and in one case, I I did put something on social media that that I had to put put some shoulda woulda couldas in there. Um, and then you realize why they do that, you know, and it can't be easy for them. And so, you know, right now, if, I, if it were me, I'd just say, hey, next semester is going to be totally online and we're going to start on this such and such a date. But they don't want to do that. There's there's so many different calculations. So they're waiting and waiting until they don't have any more time to make that decision. And then they'll they'll announce that. Well, with schools, they, with dictates. school, with schools, they've said April and they say chances are school will not go back in session this year. And what gets me are all these kids in Florida on spring break, and the, the, the mayor of the city and the governor of the state are saying they're waiting for Monday when spring break is over. I got news for them. Spring break isn't going to be over for a long, long yeah. time. <laughs> you know? I mean, common sense dictates it. If, if everybody stays in and, pe and it stops, the virus stops, right? Yeah. There's no cure for it. It's not going to go away. So right. how, do, how are we going to keep people from getting it a second time or new people getting it? Can well, you well a second time? we just want to flatten the curve right now because we're not ready for it and the hospitals are getting overloaded. So if we if we take a two week pause, maybe they can catch their breath and, and get on a system. And then if we when we go back, if we make sure we do not have 
you know, 50 or more people together, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we, if we adopt these methods, if we, if we do Wakanda forever, if we do the Thai way instead of shaking, you know, these new things, we can slow it down, flatten the curve. It may always be with us, but we can s slow it down. Or if you do two months, then you could really slow it down and mm -hmm. there's not going to be new infections because that's going to be the worst thing is when you do the two week thing. And I didn't catch it at first because we were practicing good hygiene in my household, but somebody had it and I caught it right at the tail end of them having it. Now the two weeks is over and I just caught it three days ago. Don't really know mm -hmm. I have it. And I go back out and spread it in society. Right. Again. right. Yeah. Todd. Well, I don't really see that would be awesome if it worked that way. But the problem is that. We have a lot of people that really don't really care if it if they get it or don't get it. A lot of the young people really don't care if they affect their parents or, or their grandparents. I mean, if you look at Florida, when like they had all of those people, there were thousands of people out there at the, at the beach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were like old people and there were a whole bunch of young people. Well, you they, know, yeah. well they, I, like, saw, I saw one of them going by drinking a big bottle like this, right? And I'm going, oh, gee, <laughs> exactly. that's... Really? And now they're all going to go home back to their states. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. see, when I'm I'm over the road, I watch all these people, man, you know, and I see everybody, they don't care. They don't even know what's going on. They know, technically, they look like you'd figure they know, but mm -hmm. they don't stop to even care. They don't wipe down nothing. They don't care. They don't got, you know, they're all bunched up together. <clears throat> the kids, people from school, college that they're not in school or college right now and they probably won't go back for a year, they do not care. They're driving out on the road while I'm trying to drive an 18-wheeler to get their products to yeah. their places constantly, <clears throat> and they're just basically running me off the road. All right. Uh, I had to deal uh, with this today. Charlene and then I Rob. Just to, I just wanted to say um, it's a helpful hint. I heard on the news one night that guy that took over on ABC in the evening news, I can never remember his name. David Muir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said that uh, if you don't have a mask, you know how there's a shortage, get a bandana. And I thought it was a good advice. You get a bandana yeah, and I, place I, 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 nose yeah. and everything. Yeah. And use that like when uh, you're contaminated, right? Like when you get infected to put mm -hmm. it over. And you can wash that. Like you can't. You have to throw out the mask. Yeah. So I yeah. have a couple of them here. The Army but, Navy stores are closed. By the way, I, I just I, I just thought of a hilarious comedy routine about a guy who <laughs> wants like to rob a deli, who, who yeah. decides he's going to go rob a grocery store. So he goes right. in they wearing a much. goes in wearing a mask, <laughs> and everybody is wearing a mask. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And he well, can't rob the days. place because That's nobody knows which can. one's a robber and which one isn't. Yes, uh, Rob had his hand up. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I and, and I people think I might be paranoid. <laughs> would you get in someone's somebody you know, a neighbor? Would you get in their car right now and drive someplace with them? No. Wearing clothes, uh, yeah. uh, Phil, Absolutely you have your not. hand up. Yeah. I would, but, uh, you know, I was just thinking about The Walking Dead. And, and on The Walking Dead, they allowed you to shoot the infected. You know, uh, I think that was, that was my video, but I can't show it. <laughs> well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me bring somebody into this who's been quiet all night. But I want to see what's happening down there in Plano, Texas. Oh. Yes, uh, to, uh, Mr. Uh, Scott um, Boddicker. What's happening in Plano? What's it like? Is it a ghost town or was it always a ghost town? Well, I never get out much anyway, so it always seems like this. But the only thing that affected me is both my wife and my daughter now have to work from home. So I have to have to deal with them all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, alone, you know? I, I figure if I have to spend um, about another month with Marjorie every day, uh, uh, I'm probably going to hope for getting the coronavirus and dying, <laughs> you know. If you're listening, dear, I love you, uh, but uh, you know. Why, why did Why did Jewish men die before their wives? They want to see why. Because they want to. Yeah, because they want to. Alex. Yes. I had a woman try to get into my car today. She thought I think she thought I was Uber. I said, "Oh my God, it's really creepy." I pulled over to use my phone, and she tried to get into my back seat. <laughs> yeah. Charlie, what's that sign that you have, a Uber Lyft in your window? 
I don't even have one. I said, well, <laughs> I should just drive around illegally. Charlie, you've been quiet. You've been kind of quiet tonight. What's uh, what's happening in your neck of the woods? You're near. You're in well, Texas I as well. I didn't ask you, Charlene. <laughs> oh, okay, but I talked myself out of the ticket. Thank God. Uh, yes, uh, uh, show them your tits. <laughs> I, I asked. No, I didn't do that. At my age, they don't want to see them, Jason. Can I can, can I please talk to Charlie for a second? I just wanted to see how's everything in your neck of the woods because your neck of the woods ain't that far from uh, Scott's neck of the woods. Well, about six hundred miles. But... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> is, is, no, is... it's uh, it, it, in Austin. We're doing the uh, you know the sheltering at home. Yeah. So, uh, I wanted oh, to go out one this week. That was yesterday. That was today. Mm -hmm. To go to uh, this is the grocery store. So yeah. I'm good for another two weeks now. So I don't yeah. have to leave the house again for yeah. two weeks. Uh, uh, Todd? <laughs> Sorry to bother you guys. You guys are in Texas. I'm heading to Texas out of Ohio now. And I need to get groceries when I get down that way. Are the stores that bad down there? They're out of stuff, but there was hardly anybody at the store when I was there today. Yeah, it, it was pretty crowded today in Plano, but uh, my my daughter told me to to get some ketchup. All the ketchup was gone on the store. I don't know what people are doing buying ketchup in a <laughs> pandemic, but well, because I'll they ran out, because they ran out of toilet paper, the and now they figured now. They, <laughs> they ran out of toilet paper, and they feel can they can something. crap in a in a Heinz bottle. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. at least, at least you can get something. I can't. If I feel like I'm in a post apocalyptic movie here. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, people I feel, are being arrested. Oh no! It, it this is this is every movie we. It's every. You know what it is? It's like um, every um, uh, disaster movie. Dead. No disaster yeah. movie that's ever been made. Only it's really happening. Well, see, that's why I got my papers. So I feel. I'll show you. I'll Alex. show you. I'll show you how serious it is. It's so serious that the one person on this panel would be saying it's all a hoax would be Phil, and he hasn't right. said it once. <laughs> I don't feel like arguing with you guys. No, but, you know, see. when the sharks start coming out of the sky, yeah, like Sharknado, <laughs> then I know it's a disaster. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, I don't you, like to politicize it, but uh, Trump dropped the ball on this one, oh, big did. time. In the early oh. days, he said it was nothing, yep. and like a miracle, it would just go away. Mm -hmm. And then he turned it over to Pence. But somehow he shows up at every single press conference, and he he said we have a cure. He said, I mean, the the number you just I just have to tune him out. I don't any press conference he's in or any news he's in that involves COVID nineteen. I do not watch it. I do not listen. Well, I did. You have to do that yeah. because he's not helping. I I watched something today because uh, Phil and I were having a bit of an argument last night about this, so I wanted to. See if it was true, and uh, when I woke up, the uh, the stock market was at I think the Dow was at like 350 on the good side, right? And then um, um, our governor here gave his little speech, and then predictably, at 11:30 our time, uh, the president gave his press conference. And the minute he gave, started giving his press conference, I started watching the other side of the screen where they had the Dow. And it started going down and down, and then it went into the minus. And by the time he was through speaking, it was down 300 points. And by the end of the day, it wound up a little above 1,000 to the bad. So, Phil, he really has to watch what he says. And it was a shit show today, too. Yeah. are going to make that much of a difference. It's just a matter of people trying to take profit. Or, Phil, one or day he gave it. He gave a speech, and it went from a something like a thousand bad down to three thousand to the bad <laughs> after his speech. You're, you're not going to say much, you're not going to say that had anything to do with it. No, you're giving him much more credit than uh, uh, than he's due. No, I'm not giving him credit. I'm giving him uh, credit for being an idiot <laughs> for not if you, not not knowing how to keep calmer heads prevailing. If you look at what he's done. And not what you are. Well, okay, what has he done? Don't give well, me that Chinese thing because that was a long time ago. What has he done? Just the first of many. There's there's lists out there of uh, every day of what he's done to improve our situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Rob. 
Did you hear he uh, there was he com what's his name? Fauci? Is that yeah, his name? Fauci. Yeah. He completely the two of them, they asked Fauci a question about this new drug that Trump is touting and he thinks it's gonna be a panacea. It's gonna you know and Fauci said absolutely not. Well, he said it's it's it it's it's uh, what was the term he used? It was uh, uh, the evidence is anecdotal. Yeah, is how um, he but I mean, com but basically, he basically said, "I disagree with what the president is saying." Because Trump yeah, was that's saying, when he got into it with Peter Alexander. More, hmm. You know, like it's like he's on the citizen panel. He's the freaking president. Yeah, uh, let me see here, uh, Charlene, and then uh, I'm trying to remember whose whose face is that. Jason. Uh, 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 Jason and 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 then somebody else there. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, 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 Charlene, you had your hand up. All right, you know, I said it was like Night of the Living Dead. Remember the part, like you know that that emergency broadcast notification system. Mm. You know that little like e this is a test of the emergency broadcast that came Alert on the other day. E -A -S. Mm -hmm. And I almost shit my pants. But it was just a test. Oh, I got one the other day. And it was an, it, it was an Amber Alert, and I was missing. What? Yeah. No, I yeah. thought they were going to use yeah. it, because I've never seen them use it in my lifetime, except in Night of the Living Dead. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I like that's how nervous I am now. They shouldn't test it unless it's for real. Uh, you know uh, what I mean? Josh, is, is, it, is it panic time out where you're living, do you feel? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think... You know, there's obviously the presence of the mm -hmm. virus and stuff like that, but I, I'm really getting tired of hearing about some of these possibilities because I don't think they're going to do anything to try to really slow it down. I mean, there's just too many large companies that obviously run our government, and the national government is, you know, they're not helping at all. Right. You know, they're just in the fucking way, and... I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, my company basically has refused to comply with everything that anybody has said, and they're not the only large company like that. So right. I don't think they're going to stop and do a damn thing. There's not going to be a national shelter in place. They're not going to make everybody in Ohio stay home or anything mm -hmm. like that. I mean, my work is so hell-bent that it's business as usual that I'm telling you right now, they are not stopping our plant until they literally – Fucking bust the door open like a drug bust, and we all have to run out of there like fucking immigration just came through the door. Jason, I mean, yeah. that's that, man. Jason's got his hand up. Jason, so it's a uh, two parter now, but uh, they say if it gets out of control, it's going to be 200,000 to 2.2 million Americans that will die. Um, and yeah, the, I think these corporations are still trying to work their people, and it's just going to keep on spreading it. But the only Until thing is. I think the universe does work in a mysterious way. And I almost, the atheist that I am, says, God bless Trump that he's the president right now. Because when he starts saying this is a serious issue, the fucking retarded people on the other side who think it's all fucking stupid and a hoax and everything might actually listen to him and start sheltering in place when he calls it. I think if Trump calls it, if Trump calls it, I think all the people with their guns and all their stocked up ammo might actually listen to him and stay home and maybe people can work together and let this thing pass by by staying home and separating. Hmm. I mean, I'm just they're just not going to do it. I mean, my company is still operating in Malaysia. I, I mean, I'm just telling you in Kuala Lumpur, they're they're still fucking working even though apparent I mean, they're 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 still operating all over the fucking world. I mean, I talk to people in Malaysia, you know, well, today. Well, Bree is, Bree is I in, mean, wait a minute, Bree is in. Midnight, the army will roll out, and they're serious. They, as I said, the last few days, people have not been obeying it. So the army will be deployed at 12.01, uh, you know, in the morning tonight. So starting Sunday. Uh, so, so, Josh, next, uh, when Alex's show is on next, which is. What next Tuesday night? Tuesday. Let's see mm -hmm. about that because they claim they're serious. We'll see. The National Alex, Guard's been activated in every state. Alex is marching with the Chinese. He's already in uniform. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't think anything was serious either, and I was going business as usual on Monday, and by Tuesday people were <laughs> freaking out. And, so, and that April 3rd. by Wednesday, all the grocery stores were empty. 
So the last episode I listened to, you were still in Singapore and you were going to go out to a nightclub or something. Yeah. So I'm like, I was like thinking, I'm going to call in and find out if Bree got got the Corona disease. That was last <laughs> month. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it, it's uh, you know, uh, welcome to the. This is just this is so strange. This whole thing, and I mean the fact that. You know, I'm not very fearful about things, but man, I I be. really have this reluctance to go out, and I've got my mask and my gloves and everything. I'm ready for the apocalypse. You know, this over soon, and you know why? Because if you keep people in the house long enough, you're going to start having events of domestic violence. The people are going to kill each other, and then you don't have to worry about the virus spreading. Yeah, you know, that's fine. If they kill themselves that way, they can't affect anybody else. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the end of the world. You know. What is he going to say? I'm worried about the knock-on effects on the on the economy, and just I I just I mean this really could be a huge, it could be a big thing, Um, and you know I've had thoughts about this, uh, and when you get in lockdown and you're told you're going to get arrested if you go out, and you just saw the grocery stores and there was nothing. I mean it's a little freaky, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Is martial law national or is it a state thing? Uh, so it could be either one. It could be local. It could be in a city. It could be either. Yeah. Okay. So it, it isn't only just done by uh, the, the the national government. Huh? Mm-hmm. I think a state you, you could know, do it. You know, have trouble you, you know what it. my greatest fear is in all of this, and I and I don't know. I'm sure some of you feel this way. I'm sure Phil won't feel that way. But that, that everybody the comes. Vote will be everybody comes to public office with a with a tool set of one sort or another, and and Trump's tool set is not this tool set, you know. It's not the one he is ready for, you know. Uh, I don't think he's even ready for economic problems, but God knows we're going to have those now. I, I mean, think he lied about his test results. He, he's 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 going to talk about you know they're going to he keeps talking about how oh, <laughs> unemployment is at an all time low. They're expecting it, and this is according to uh, what's his name his uh, his uh, uh, secretary Mnuchin. of the yeah. treasury Mnuchin. Uh, Mnuchin. He said it could go as high as twenty percent unemployment. That would be an all I think maybe an all time high since the de- depression. Yeah. Well, if you have everybody that's been cloistered uh, collecting unemployment, you're going to have a higher rate of unemployment. I mean, if, if even though you haven't been fired uh, in this in this situation, uh, you're allowed to collect unemployment if your business has been forced to close. Its well, you you are unemployed because you've been fired. Essentially, don't come to work. We don't have a we don't have a job for you. You don't have to be fired to collect the unemployment in this particular situation. What? So therefore, yes. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're, it, it, they, they have to let you go if they're not going to pay you. If they're no, going to keep no. paying you, then you probably don't need the president's no. money. If if they close their doors and they can't pay you, uh, you're allowed to collect uh, unemployment without being fired because when the doors reopen, you still have a job if you show up. You're laid up. off. You're laid off. Well, yeah. no. Yes. Yeah. You're laid so, off. You're, you're no longer. You're, 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 you're just, not yeah, you're just laid off. All, all I know is, like I told a boss of mine once, he said, well, we're not firing you. We're not. We're just not renewing your contract. And I said, well, then do I come in on Monday and get paid for it? And they went, no. And I said, then I think that sounds like I got fired. You know. Uh, well, no, because you had a contract and they didn't renew it. If they if they fired you, they I'm would still have out of work. I'm still unemployed. I'm still not released. collecting a paycheck. You're terminated. You're released. Yeah. It's another name for unemployed. I, I I've been getting bulletins uh, on the unemployment situation, and I was instructed to tell my people that you know uh, the salespeople in the retail showroom. Look, I have to be closed to the public. You need to co- uh, collect unemployment. That I haven't, and I didn't. I wasn't required to fire them. I wasn't required to lay them off. They just couldn't work because the showroom wasn't available to the public. And and that's a normal thing too, because I think in the auto industry, there's some people who are kind of somewhat seasonal, and the the construction industry they're seasonal. So they work their ass off during a certain part of the year, especially the construction industry, and then the summertime or winter time they collect unemployment. Well, yeah. this was that's a seasonal job. Oh. You know, but okay, no, that's a seasonal job. Designated seasonal job. 
He shouldn't okay. be able to collect unemployment. If I don't know if you can see time. that, yeah, you folks. you can. <clears throat> and that's what can. my son did. We he hit. was in agriculture, and he used to be seasonal. We hit 50. Show me, Alex. Huh? What are you yeah. showing? 50. Oh, 50. Oh. Oh, yeah. 50. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's yes, okay. uh, It'll be your birthday. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> also, also uh, on the audio side of it, we've got, uh, let me see here. On the audio side, we have um, 15. So, you know, hmm. it's uh, like uh, 65 and my people. best friend since I was seven uh, got, on the, uh, got on the chat and, and said, hi, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my COVID nineteen saved Gabnet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's amazing. The last couple of nights, uh, 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 it it's been it's been quite phenomenal. We went almost as high last night too. So see what happens when people are quarantined. You know, well, I also yeah. started uh, doing a link yeah. on uh, on my Facebook page to it uh, to have it go through YouTube. And maybe people are using that too, so that's picking it up too as well. What would hey, so if you got a, a one of those Facebook pages that allows you to get more than five thousand uh, people, I and then you have I have that. It's called oh, Gabnet, that? Gabnet Live. No, no, no. An Alex Bennett no, Facebook page. No, that no. It, you. There's a Gabnet Live page that is a yeah. fan page, as oh, opposed to Gabnet. Yeah, and that's that's the kind where you can have as many people as want to, you know. Like the real Donald Trump kind of page, you know. Well, oh. the, the, the real Donald Trump, I don't even want to go there, okay? <laughs> you know, uh, what have you. But um, hey, So, Alex, I just want to ask you real quick, because yeah. since you're kind of changing your time, did you ever think about just going on at the same time and ending sooner and having Jack come on earlier? No. 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 To me, that that's my big holdup, man. Like, I can't stay up late enough to go on Jack's show. Well, he's trying no to pump for me here. You know, <laughs> if Jack wants to go on earlier, he can go on before me. This but I, I really don't want to change. You know, I just got through. Change, every time I change a time here, I have to change promos. And as Rob knows, I write him and I say, could you just say two words for me? Like, uh, <laughs> you know, not, not 10.30 instead of 10. <laughs> And uh, uh, then I have to go. I just I put out two whole new promos now that have my new time on it, and uh, uh, so it it. Uh, and then I had to change all the artwork, you know, you know. To, so to do it for two people, I'm sorry. I was I've I've just had an operation a couple of weeks ago. Okay, you know. Eh, my poor Alex. ass. I can't take out the garbage. <laughs> I've got cancer. Okay. Alex. Yes. You know. Um, this is delaying the election and stuff. This is scary. Oh, because do you know how he said he's going to be president? Like my, I cannot believe it. I got to take a picture of this. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. My wait. neighbors continue to flout the law. Wait a minute, Bree. Sorry. Yeah, well, Go ahead, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I hope that, uh, you know, how uh, Trump predicted he's going to be president forever. You know, like maybe the delay in the election with all this. I mean, is it some weird conspiracy plot? Somebody last night here said that's impossible. Somebody last night on this show said that's impossible by law. Ask Josh. Oh, okay. Josh, it's, no, it, 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 it's impossible, law. isn't it, Josh? He has to hold an election, right? Yeah. I, mean, I would say only Congress would have the power to change the date of the election. Yeah. Well, that ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's probably not going to be an election in November. He, he he'll I know, this is he'll find Carlo, some right? fucked up way to to make it not happen, and you know they'll all just go along with it. I mean, that's I wouldn't plan on well, voting in November if I were anybody. Well, I, mean, I wouldn't get too excited about it. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. the, America got what they bought. You know. Mm -hmm. You're stuck fuck. with this fucking ass. United States of Venezuela. Start, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah. everyone tried to warn people if dipshits in there when something like this like goes that. down, you're gonna have this problem, and you you you're getting exactly what you you, you asked for. So hey. yeah, don't run up as a candidate, right? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. He did this on purpose. 
Yeah. What a world we live in. It's all in. him. How is the virus in Russia? Like, has it hit Russia? Oh, yeah. Of course. It's hit everywhere. I, I you know, I, I was I, looking I at the... I don't hear anything about the news on Russia, though. Ru Russia is very quiet about it. They say they've only had 253 confirmed cases, of which 12 have recovered and one is dead. I find that kind of hard to believe. Yes, Phil? Uh, you know, I'm just wondering if this was a bio-attack by the Chinese that was meant for the United States, and because Trump yeah, comes yep. to travel, it ended up everywhere else. And, and, exactly and so we're, we are going to be attacked in this same fashion by other countries, whether it be North Phil, Korea Phil, or Iran. Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil, please Better don't start rumors enough. like that. Don't, not here. No, no, I won't right. allow. Right. I won't. I won't allow that kind of speculation on this program. <laughs> All right. So, uh, it's not speculation. You know, you know. I do. I am a little upset that the president insists on calling this the Chinese flu. Uh, I well, like you can it. call it Mexican food. You know, the Wuhan <laughs> flu. Yeah. Or Chinese so did, flu. So did Pompeo today, too. He, he insisted on calling it that, too. Yeah. And I think that's their new tactic, is to blame the Chinese yeah. for it. The and Chinese were saying that there was American soldiers in Wuhan doing exercises, and maybe it's the American flu. Uh, it, look, it, it, look, look, it, look, look. This was, soldiers, this was a, as with all of these kinds of situations, something that was lingering somewhere. Who knows? And somebody somewhere let it out of the bottle. Uh, Read and the article on, on CNN.com about um, what we're doing to the environment and what we're doing in, in these uh, woodlands and all of these places where there are viruses and species of life that we don't know about, and we're upsetting the apple cart. They say don't blame the bats, blame humans. Well, it was kind of like with AIDS. AIDS existed in the jungles for for, for right. centuries. Worse than AIDS. And or and, and yeah. what happened was when we finally built roads into those jungles, it had a way to get out. You know, right? It, uh, yes. Damn moonshiners. Uh, Jason has his hand up. There, there was like I think it was uh, outbreak or contagion. I don't know. One of the movies came out in '91. I just contagion. made my kid watch the other day, and it was talking about how. Um, it, the rumor was in Africa about how well, this is a curse well, from the gods because man wandered into trails that he wasn't ever meant to go down. And that's basically what it is. We keep on spreading into areas and there's stuff there. Yeah. I mean, uh, they, maybe he can call it the Chinese flu just like we called it the Spanish flu when it really started in some, uh, some uh, army post here in the United States. You know. Well, I dive in caves. Uh, there's a, a, a thing called a halocline where you have uh, uh, salt water and fresh water mixing. And there are uh, uh, of animals or uh, things that live in those uh, very unusual spots. And they're using those, uh, I think they call them exactophiles. Uh, they're using those to discover uh, different treatments for cancer and, and other things because they live in these extreme environments. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, this is the kind of thing that we have to find to combat. Well, this I, I don't know. We live in New York, and that's an extreme environment. And mm -hmm. we're the number one city in the United States now with uh, the flu. With the, is uh, it, it's uh, noisy outside your window no. now that people are off the street? Not like it used to be. You know, that's the only that's the only good news. That and the fact that there was no St. Patrick's Day parade and people on the subways puking green. So, you know, there are positives to this whole thing. Hopefully there's a Cinco de Mayo parade. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Well, count on it. Yes, and you know what? We're all going to drink on Cinco de Mayo, don't you? Corona. <laughs> Corona. Exactly. And then take your shots of tequila. Hey, listen, Enjoy everybody. This has been, this has been a, uh, a, a a difficult thing to transverse, Rest. but all you people have been really good, and uh, uh, and and it, it's worked out perfectly. Todd, thank you. Thank you to Josh. Thank you to Charlie. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Scott Boddicker, thank you for being there. Uh, Charlene, thank you. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Jason, thank you. Uh, hold on. Hey, keep holding up those dude wipes, ladies and gentlemen. Brought to you by Dude Wipes. Okay. You, you feel rank? Uh, you thank stay. you, Rob. Thank you, Phil. And uh, thank you to Bree in Malaysia. 
Uh, what you should all do is uh, give them all a big wave goodbye. Brought to you by Dude Wipes. Hold up Dude Wipes again. There we go. Dude Wipes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Anyway, that's it for tonight. That's our citizen panel. Man, oh, man. Has it uh, been a good one? Uh, and a lot of people watching tonight. And uh, what does it take a, a horrible tragedy like this to, you know, get you to call? Uh, anyway, uh, I got to I gotta go. Uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same uh, uh, gab net. Uh, and I'll see you again on um, uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>